Hello there, I'm an ESO today and we I'm on the, the test channel um, or test server I guess. I just want you to have a look at where we are in the world here. It's actually quite pretty. It's a little cold, you know, that's okay. We are right over here at the Stillwaters Retreat. There's a, a lovely way shrine just outside the door. This is in Western Skyrim up here in this part of Tamriel. So if you don't have this expansion yet, I, well, okay, I'm the wrong person to ask if you should get it because I am loving it. Now, this is the house that we're going to go see. And it's actually pretty darn cool. I'm, I'm quite, I quite like this place. So we're going to pop in. Now, this is going to be a really nice guild hall with the way shrine just outside the door like that. That's, that's lovely. That's always really good. And this one is kind of a nice home and a nice guild place because there's lots of room to put down all those attuned crafting tables. I mean, there's like a couple of hundred of them and uh, this will give you some room to do that. Now, this is what it looks like when you come in. I think it is stunning. I th This combination of stone and the beautiful metal and, and the, the sheen on it and the way everything looks, I, I just, yeah, I'm really liking this place. I am loving this plate. Look at that. Oh, so, 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 so pretty. Yeah, that's nice. So anyway, and you come into this room, you've got a little room over there, you've got another door, and you've got a little room over here. So if you wanted to make this your home, I don't know, think about it. It's cold outside. Oh, look at that. Isn't it? Oh, 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 what an entrance. Can you see it hung with tapestries and lots of plants on either side and lit up really? Oh, it's beautiful. I'm thinking if we had some sort of fire here in a really nice seating area all wrapped around, how lovely would that be? You could have a little kitchen area over here. You could have the, the eating area out here as well. You could have maybe a big table there, the fire, and then seating on both sides. This could be quite nice. We could doll it up with some statues and plants and pretty pictures. So you could have the kitchen over there. This side you can put curtains up or build walls however you want. and turn that into a lovely bedroom so you could make this a very comfortable home I think I you know I could be happy here look at this place come on oh I love the textures it's so pretty anyway then we head outside through this rather epic door I have to say it's really good and you've got all this space now this is just a great big lovely flat area obviously intended for for all those um, attuned things in a guild uh, the attuned crafting tables it's really pretty you know it this is lovely I, I've got the cold harbor house which I don't use as my a guild hall oddly enough but um, I do store a lot of things in it and I have to admit I just like this I like this so much better it feels fresh and clean. You could have a little seating over here, big bonfires. You could build a little, you know, a little shack or something to hang out in. You can plant all along here. It, this is so pretty. Now here's the thing. Let's, you know what, we'll try that in a minute. One thing at a time. So over here, this lovely glacier. Like you're just sitting here, this big glacier is like right there on your lake. Oh, and look under the ice. Look under, can you see that? Are you just seeing things there? Where is it here? Okay, the lighting's a little punky. Let's find it. I want to make sure you get a good look at this. And I'm never going to find it again. The lighting is just not what it should be. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, can you see there? There are ruins under here. You see the big stone things coming up there? And there is a oh, I can't find it, guys. The lighting's not good. It's getting, the sun's going down. It's getting a little bit dark. Oh, are you seeing some stuff here? Nope, not that one. Well, you're going to have to take my word for it. There's some cool stuff under the water, okay? And when the lighting is right, you can see them. At any rate, we're going back to the glacier here because there is another little blip back here that we're going to have a look at. You know, it might be a great place for storing treasure, putting your big piles of stuff. You walk across the ice and, oh, look. Look at this. Oh, here, look at this. Ooh. 
that one's pretty. This one, this one shows well all the time because the lighting is always the same inside. But that's, come on, this is pretty darn sexy. I like this place. I like this place a lot. So this could be, you know, some secret room where you stash all your stuff. You could have it full of gold and glittering and all the, you know, the different um, busts and things you get that are made out of gold that you get for running dungeons could be all over the place. You could just turn this into a glittering, wonderfully hidden little place in the world. And, ooh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, because now we have, ooh, this is so exciting. I got to show you. So we're going to click on this. Under services, where are we? We have house guests now, guys. These are coming up. Now we've got a guard here. Yes, so we can take this fella and we can place him in here. And he can be guarding our treasure if we want him to. We can place him right here. But wait, there's more. Okay, we could say, you know what? We're, I'm just, I'm not going to do any details here. I'm just going to say, I want you to walk back and forth and make sure that, you know, nobody is going to be messing with my stuff. And I don't think, actually, you know what? I don't think I need that. We're just going to confirm that. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Whatever. And we're going to finish that. I don't even think I have to do that last part. Q will confirm this. And then this fella is going to do the rounds. Oh, yeah. And you can detail this, you can make him run, you can make him walk, you can make him stop in places. If I had just confirmed it at this one, he would have just walked back and forth. Like a proper guard should, you know? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> and maybe, you know, maybe he just he's, he's out here and it's all cold and, you know, our, our, this little girl, she's maybe she's sweet on him, you know, and just going, well, you know, maybe I'll go out and bring him something hot to drink and see what he's doing after dinner. And we can have her. We can create a path. We can, uh, the precision edit is really to hit angles and how they sit on things and stuff like that. And it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to play with. But wait, there's more. <laughs> because, because we've got these new three house guests, we've got this guy doing his little job. Now, I figure he is going to make a great assistant for our banker who kind of does the same thing, right? We can have these two guys working together on something, and I think that's pretty cool. We do have, I have used her many times, the merchant, and you know, I've used her in houses to be like a cook or the person who's out the door greeting people or something like that. So now, you know, now she's going to have company. I think that's pretty cool. But we can also do, you know what, we can, let's find something, oh, you know that, well, it won't go good in the water here, in the ice here, or something. A little pocket mammoth, that's adorable, right? Maybe, maybe our guard has pet. And the pet just, you know, it just loves his little master so much. And he just sits there and follows him around. He could totally do that. He could go, is that too close? Is that a problem? Uh, and then finish that and confirm it. Oh, it's just because it's a different color. I mean, it's a it's a pet instead of the other. So, you know, now we can have these guys. Uh, we're going to have to get this tuned because the little pet is confused. <laughs> we didn't hit it at the right time. <laughs> but, okay, there he caught up. There he caught up. But the other guy's got a longer path. So we could totally have this fixed. And we could just have somebody who, we can have the guard just wander around out here and have his little pet trotting along behind him. And I'm quite excited about the upcoming stuff. I'm pretty hypey. I'm pretty hypey. I'm hyped and happy. Da da. There. See? There's what I was trying to show you before. That big dome. Can you just see that under here? Look at that. Yeah. And in some light it shows much better. But isn't it just beautiful? It's going to be nice, guys. If you're looking for a new guild hall. I'm thinking this might be a place to consider. And that's it. That's all. I mean, I I did buy this place and, you know, we could I thought about, you know, putting how far out can you put a tree? That's kind of some of the first things I ever do, actually, um, is just grab stuff and see, you know, how far away. I haven't bought anything, so I don't actually have anything to, to place anywhere. But, yeah, see, we could be putting plants up here we could be building up here we can probably walk up there 
there's going to be lots of choices. And these guys march around too. If you've got a horse that just loves you so much, he might be quite willing to follow you around. I don't know. Looking good. I'm happy. I'm excited. And until I see you next time, let's live our lives happy and build them beautiful. Thanks to everyone who makes my life possible. Bye-bye, guys.